Have you ever wondered why your dog may not always appreciate being petted? It's a question that many dog owners have pondered and it's the topic we're delving into today. Now we all love to show our furry friends affection but it's essential to remember that, just like us, they too have their limits and preferences. While some dogs may revel in a good belly rub, others might prefer their space and that's perfectly okay. According to veterinary behaviorist Dr. Emily Levine, understanding a dog's body language is key to respecting their boundaries. A wagging tail or a playful bark may be signs of joy, but a tucked tail or pinned back ears might signal discomfort. So it's not that dogs dislike affection, but rather they have their unique ways of expressing what kind of affection they're comfortable with. Let's dive into the signs of a dog's discomfort and how to interpret their body language. Understanding a dog's body language is like learning a new language. It's a fascinating conversation between humans and their furry friends full of subtle hints and cues that can help us decode their feelings. When it comes to petting, it's crucial to keep an eye out for signs that might indicate your dog is uncomfortable. For instance, if a dog's tail is tucked between their legs, it's a clear indication of discomfort or fear. A tail that's low and barely wagging can also signal that they're not entirely at ease. Moving on to their ears, if they are pinned back or lying flat against the head, it's another sign that the dog is feeling uneasy. A dog's ears are expressive and can reveal a lot about their emotional state. Yawning in dogs doesn't always mean they're tired. It can be a sign of stress, or discomfort, especially if it happens when you're petting them. Similarly, if a dog licks their lips, it's not always about hunger or the anticipation of a treat. It can be a sign of nervousness or stress. Another critical signal to watch for is avoidance behaviors. If your dog turns their head away, tries to move away, or avoids eye contact, these are all clear signs that they're not comfortable with the situation. Sometimes dogs might exhibit more subtle signs of discomfort, like tensing their body or showing the whites of their eyes, often referred to as whale eyes. These signs can be easy to miss if you're not paying close attention, but they're just as important in understanding your dog's feelings. Remember, every dog is unique and these signs can vary from one dog to another. It's all about getting to know your specific dog's body language and understanding what they're trying to communicate. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards respecting your dog's boundaries. By tuning into their body language, you can ensure that your petting sessions are enjoyable for both you and your dog. After all, a happy dog means a happy owner, and there's nothing more rewarding than a strong, respectful bond with your furry friend. Respecting your dog's boundaries is not only ethical, but also critical for their well-being. Imagine you're in a crowded place and someone you barely know invades your personal space. You might feel uncomfortable, anxious, or even threatened. For many dogs, being petted can trigger similar feelings. Dogs, just like humans, have personal boundaries that need to be respected. So, why is it so important to respect these boundaries? For one, forcing physical affection on a dog can lead to stress and anxiety. Dogs communicate their feelings largely through body language. If they show signs of discomfort, like tucking their tail or flattening their ears, and their signals are ignored, they may feel anxious and stressed. Over time, this stress can lead to health issues, such as digestive problems and a weakened immune system. Secondly, disregarding a dog's boundaries can also lead to aggression. When a dog's signals of discomfort are continually ignored, they may resort to growling, snapping or biting to communicate their distress. This is particularly true for dogs that have had negative experiences with being petted in the past. Moreover, respecting a dog's boundaries can strengthen the bond between the dog and its owner. By understanding and respecting your dog's signals, you're showing them that you care about their feelings and comfort. This builds trust, which is the foundation of a strong, respectful relationship. It's also worth noting that dogs, like people, are individuals with their own preferences. Some dogs may enjoy a good scratch behind the ears, while others may prefer a gentle pat on the back. By observing your dog's reactions, you can learn what types of physical affection they enjoy and what makes them uncomfortable. In conclusion, respecting a dog's boundaries when it comes to petting is not just about being considerate, it's about ensuring their emotional well-being, preventing aggressive behavior and building a strong, trusting relationship. So, how can we show affection without crossing their boundaries? 
There are many ways to show your dog love and affection without overwhelming them. As we journey through the world of dog communication, it's essential to remember that physical touch isn't the only way to express our love. There are numerous alternatives to petting that can bring joy to your furry friend and strengthen your bond. Let's start with games. A rousing game of fetch, for instance, can be a wonderful way to engage with your dog. It's not just about the physical exercise, but the shared experience, the mutual joy of play. It's a form of communication that says, I'm here with you and we're having fun together. Walks are another fantastic alternative. Not only do they offer much needed exercise, but they also provide an array of sensory experiences for your dog. The sights, smells and sounds of the great outdoors can be incredibly stimulating for them. More Importantly, walks are a shared adventure, a journey embarked upon together. They let your dog know that you value their company. And then there's the magic of treats. Who doesn't love a good treat? Uh, but it's not just about the taste. Giving your dog a treat can be a way of saying good job or I love you. It's a small gesture that speaks volumes. Quality time can also be an expression of affection. Simply being in the same space, enjoying each other's company can be incredibly comforting for your dog. Whether it's watching television together or just lounging around, these moments of shared calm can be deeply bonding. Training, too, is an opportunity for connection. When you teach your dog new tricks or commands, you're not just improving their skills, you're also showing them that you're invested in them, that you respect them, and that you're eager to understand them. In the end, it's all about communication. It's about learning to express your love in a language your dog understands and appreciates. It's about recognizing their individuality and respecting their preferences. Remember, it's all about understanding what your dog enjoys. If your dog enjoys being petted, it's important to approach them correctly. Now let's delve into the specifics of how to approach a dog for petting. First and foremost, it's crucial to approach from the side rather than head on. A direct approach can be perceived as a threat which might trigger a defensive response. By approaching from the side, you communicate your friendly intentions more clearly. Next, avoid direct eye contact. In canine language, direct eye contact can be a sign of dominance or aggression. Look at your dog without staring and blink frequently to soften your gaze. This subtle form of communication assures the dog that you mean no harm. Now let's talk about your posture. It's best to avoid looming over the dog. This can be intimidating and might make the dog uncomfortable. Instead, try to get down to their level. Sit or kneel and let the dog come to you. This gives the dog a sense of control and can help to build trust. Once you're down at their level, extend your hand slowly and allow the dog to sniff it. This is their way of getting to know you. If the dog seems comfortable and doesn't pull away, you can gently start petting them. However, remember to keep your movements slow and gentle. Quick or forceful movements can startle a dog and make them uncomfortable. It's also essential to pay attention to the dog's body language throughout the process. If the dog seems uncomfortable or anxious, stop what you're doing and give them some space. It's always important to respect a dog's boundaries and to remember that they are individuals with their own likes and dislikes. In conclusion, approaching a dog for petting requires a careful and respectful approach. Remember to approach from the side, avoid direct eye contact, kneel down to their level, and allow them to sniff your hand before you start petting. By respecting their space and approaching them correctly, you can create a more comfortable environment for your dog. Understanding your dog's body language and respecting their boundaries is key to a happy and healthy relationship. As we've explored throughout this video, many dogs don't necessarily enjoy being petted and some may even find it unsettling. This doesn't mean they don't love you, it's just a matter of personal space and comfort. We've delved into the importance of observing your dog's body language, signs of 